And I was in Washington last week. A fellow sitting next to me by the name of Ernie Chambers, a militant young man, brilliant, justifying the use of violence for the attainment of one's rights. And his arguments were very clear, very precise, and very logical. He pointed out the hypocrisy in the American system, where he talked about the American Revolution and how there was disobedience to the laws of King George here. That was the establishment at that time. With the bloodshed, the American history, all for the attainment of one's rights. And so he justified it as far as the black man is concerned, and correctly so. But he not only justified it, morally, but he tactically presented some very good arguments as to how it would work and could work. But anyway, Mr. Chambers uh, talked about himself and his children and the suffering that his children go through being black in white America, the suffering that he himself went through. He talked about our educational system and how he had to study in 95% of his times the accomplishments of white people and learn nothing about himself. And how the first impact that he got in our educational system was in the first grade textbook where he read Little Black Sambo. At any rate, He wanted to know something about himself. He wanted to know something about black culture and black history and black beauty. And he learned. And he taught his children. And today he is fighting one of the most militant civil rights leaders that I have ever met. Here at St. Boniface we try to do this. We try to get an understanding of other cultures, people of other ethnic groups. And so in our liturgy we take music from a variety of cultures. Some of the music that the Milwaukee and ECP Youth Council members are singing here today from black culture, black beauty. Very fine, very good. When they sing, I wish that you would join in with them. <laughs> 